Welcome back to Ask NCM. I'm Steve Paul at the NCM Institute. I have another question I'm going to bring to you today. This question comes in from a service manager. It says, my shop supplies expenses out of control. Do you have any tips or best practices for controlling it? Expenses are always a concern because we know that every time we reduce the expense by a dollar, that dollar falls down 100% to our net profit line. So we really want to do a good job on this. Shop supplies are something that we, can, that we can control, but there are some best practices that will help us control this. First of all, track it by technician. See if you have one technician that's possibly abusing the system. Every time you hand out shop supplies, put it to a technician ticket under their, under their technician number, and then at the end of the month, look at it. If you've got one person that's spending twice as much on shop supplies as other technicians, that could be a red flag and maybe an opportunity for an expense reduction. Another thing is, match up the type of supplies you're buying to the position. I know that the technicians love to have the best nitrile gloves out there at $15 or $17 a box, and yes, they deserve them because they last all day long or most of the day whenever they can get the good ones. The problem is, maybe in our express service where they're constantly peeling and throwing away gloves, we buy a cheaper glove because they don't have to last all day, and you can have some savings buying some $7 or $8 uh, a box gloves for that position. So match the type of supply to the right usage. Another thing is, look for bulk purchases. If you can find some specials where maybe you can buy 20 cases or 50 cases of something that you use a lot of and get a savings discount, that may be worth your time, as long as these are controlled, because what you, what you don't want to do is have waste from having excess, either by people thinking, well, we've got plenty, so if I, if I waste a few, it's no big deal. So control those, but get the best purchasing power possible. And lastly, there's some, there's some new systems out there, newer type of systems that are vending machine driven. The technician has to put in the RO number or their technician number in order for the vending machine to, to distribute these types of, su of supplies, and it gives you better controls on this. If you'll take all of these in, in, into practice as best practices, you will be able to reduce your shop supply expense. And lastly, I'd like to say, sometimes once you've done all the things in order to reduce your shop supply expense and you're still not where you need to be, you need to see if you're actually charging enough. You may have to char charge a higher shop supply fee to the customer if your expenses are under control so that you can balance out that account. I hope that this helps. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please send them to AskNCM at ncmassociates.com.